Appleton School District tonight continued its push for a possible referendum. The district says it needs to fix up all 27 of its buildings, but some people are saying the referendum is not necessary. Tonight, Fox 11's Kelly Schlick has both sides. Broken faucets, crowded classrooms, chemical hoods that were supposed to be repaired in 1994. These are some of the things in the science classrooms at Appleton East, which leaders say need to be fixed. And just a few of the many maintenance items on a possible Appleton area school district referendum. Certainly a science lab has to be not only functional so that students are learning the types of things we want them to learn and the space is available for them, but it also has to be safe. So that The superintendent says he'd also like to see upgrades to tech ed departments with a 21st century career focus. Ollinger also would like to see schools provide either laptops or tablets to each high schooler. We're trying to make it sure that it's an equitable learning environment for all of our students. The superintendent says he would like to relocate more school offices to the front of the buildings like this one to enhance student safety. However, those renovations could cost several hundred thousand dollars. However, Ollinger says he doesn't have a total cost estimate for the items that could be on the referendum. At a sparsely attended community forum Monday night, we found some who take a very different view towards any extra spending at all. No. Too much, too often. We went through this a couple years ago. I think the school district should live within its means as well. The Appleton School District last held a referendum in 2009. That measure to upgrade facilities and technology failed. While Ollinger says there still is time for community discussion, the Board of Education must approve the referendum by December 7th for it to be on the ballot in February 2014. In Appleton, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. The school district says it plans to host another group on Wednesday morning at the Appleton City Center and then present its proposal to the school board next week.